Welcome, my name is Nick and this is Nick's Fort. I do filmmaking tutorials and I share my films on this channel. Today is to the frickin' point Friday. And today we're gonna get to the frickin' point about my five favorite, most frequently used keyboard shortcuts for Premiere Pro video editing. All right, so keyboard shortcut number one is go to next edit point and go to previous edit point. And you're gonna use your up key and your down key. And it's going to jump from the, the edit point, the front and end of your clip, super, super fast. I use this to navigate my timeline, especially if I have a lot of clips to jump around from one to the next, it's extremely useful. Shortcut number two is similar in terms of it's a means to get around on your timeline. And just for reference right here, this little blue line that moves along your sequence here, that is your playhead. You're gonna have your playhead right here. And if I wanna watch this clip, I could hit play. I could go up here and hit play. But what I wanna do is use this shortcut. So if I hit L, it's gonna play my playhead on my timeline. If I hit L again, it's gonna speed that up. And again, it's gonna speed it up. I can do that up to six times. And you can see how it's just flying across the timeline there. And then in reverse, if I hit J, it's gonna play my footage backwards. And if I hit it again, six times in a row, it's gonna shuttle along my timeline. And then the third key in this combo is K. And K is going to pause your shuttle. So those three keys are all next to each other, J, K, L. They're right next to each other and you can just between them and you get through your footage so fast you can just move around, it's awesome. Shortcut number three is a means of editing your B-roll down and so I'm gonna show you how you might do this now. You might go over here and hit your razor blade and you might click right here and then you might go over here and hit your arrow key and you might click right there and then you might hit delete and then you might click this gap and you might hit delete and now you have your clip. But what you're gonna do now is you're gonna scrub on your timeline to where you want your clip to start and you can use the JKL trick and I'm gonna have it start right there and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit the Q button and when I hit the Q button, it's going to literally cut all of this entire clip off right here. And it's just gonna jump this all the way to the front. It's gonna do what we just did in one single keystroke. Oh my God, isn't that fantastic? Wow. It's amazing, that, that keyboard shortcut is so phenomenal. And then let's say I wanna end my clip right there, okay? Now I'm gonna hit W, and W is gonna cut off this side of the clip, and it's gonna, it's gonna close up that gap. So you might previously, again, have done the razor tool, the arrow key, the click, the delete, the click, the delete, just like that, but no more. You're gonna find the end of that clip, and you're gonna hit W, and it's just gonna do it automatically. When I learned the Q and W trick, it was pretty far into my career as a freelancer and my friend told me and I was like so embarrassed because I was like, this is going to save me so much freaking time. So much time. All right, so for this next keyboard shortcut, we're gonna look at this little sequence we have here. So we have this puddle crusher shot and then we have a POV shot driving and then we have this shot right here along the rocks and there's a little cut right here that I have and what I wanna do is I want to take this clip and get rid of it, which I might, you know, historically have clicked on that, hit delete, click on this clip, drag it over, something like that, right? And then now we cut between the two. But instead of doing that, I'm when my playhead is above this clip, I'm gonna hit D. And by hitting D, you are selecting the clip at playhead. So if I go above any of these and hit D, it's gonna select that clip. Okay, and so I'm above this clip and I've hit D. And then the next and final keyboard shortcut that I'm gonna share with you guys today is the ripple delete. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit shift delete and it's gonna delete that clip and close the gap at the same time. And here's another example of that. Hit D, shift delete, closes that gap. So now you go from that to that. And what I wanted to do there was I wanted to do that here, boom. And so you go from this shot 
to that shot, to this shot. And then I might cut off the tail with the W and that's about it. So those are five keyboard shortcuts that I use all the time to speed up my editing process significantly. Before you guys take off, if you thought that was helpful, please click the thumbs up below. Give it a clickety clackety. Also, if you drop a comment below, I love chatting with you guys. So share your thoughts, share your favorite keyboard shortcuts. Also, if you aren't subscribed, you can subscribe below and pop on notifications. And if you dig this content and you like it and you think it's helpful, please share this with a friend. Say, hey, hey, Nick's gonna help you. He's gonna teach you these things. Well, you don't have to, you don't have to say that, but just share it with a friend if you think it's gonna be helpful. And most importantly, have a good weekend. Get out there, film some stuff, and get creative, guys. Peace.